Hello everybody, this is Bodrich. This video is um, show me the XFCE settings because we will continue now. Uh, you know, in the last video we added the listener script that changed the title format for us now in, in our Thunar window. So when I open Thunar, now it doesn't change the title format because when the window is created, that is not the same thing as um, the title changing. Because that's the only event we are listening for, a title change in on Thunar. But as soon as the title changes here, for instance, when I open a directory, now it changes to only git instead of saying git dash file manager. But as I said in the last video, I, we, we need to, to um, get the full path here. And uh, there is a hidden setting in, in Thunar that we can enable that will display the, the full path instead of just the top directory here. So let's enable those hidden settings. Ah, here is uh, <laughs> the issue I reported about that, you know, you cannot bind any key bindings for changing the sort order and stuff. In, in the details or, or tree view here. So I'm, I posted an issue 14 months ago. No comments, no, not, no activity at all. Uh, issue bug number 14,069. Uh, yeah. Hidden settings, hooray. <coughs> advanced, advanced settings. Uh, while most settings can be configured using the menu and or preference, preferences dialog, some of the settings are not visible in the interface because they are considered not general enough for the average user. Here we can see the, <laughs> the, the average user uh, considered these settings very uh, general, you know, enable volume, ask what, what we have. Yeah, that's, that's a setting you can set. The rest is not uh, considered general enough for the average user. So the XFCE developers have protected us from these by hiding uh, a lot of settings. But you can use here the excellent uh, XFCE4 settings editor in order to see which settings are currently stored and to modify them. Make sure to quit Thunar with the Thunar-Q before uh, you, you execute the program. And then we can see here a little table of, of the, the settings that we can enable that are hidden for so so we yeah because who knows what would happen if, if the average user would would use something like uh, image size in status bar you know <clears throat> the setting we want to enable now in this video is this full path in title it also tells us here that if we don't want to use this uh, amazing uh, XFC settings editor, we can also use uh, the command line option. The quickest way here, just write this quick little simple command here, xfconf dash query dash dash channel thunar dash dash property forward slash property name dash dash create dash dash type value type dash dash set and then the value. But this doesn't work because if it's a hidden setting that isn't enabled, you have to first create the setting with uh, this command. And then you have to write create and also specify what, what type of, of setting it is. All of these are, are booleans, but there are also uh, like integer and string uh, types. <sighs> okay, okay. I have prepared this a bit here. I have this directory here, GitHub, that is uh, the same as, as, as you can find on, on the GitHub show notes uh, repo for, for these Thunar uh, videos. I have prepared the command here to enable this full path in title uh, thing. But first, let's look at the settings editor, because maybe that's easier than, than using this command line, uh, evil terminal commands, you know. And then we do uh, sudo pacman capital S XFCE4 settings is the name of the package, not settings editor, just settings. And here, uh, 20 megabytes. Perfect, perfect. This, this gotta be good, you know. Now we got the XFCE4 settings editor. 
manager I don't know I haven't even opened this uh, because it cannot be better than this program you know here we have the Thunar settings here uh, open and some other stuff <clears throat> And here we can set the settings, convenient here now with this setting editor. Uh, you can... Uh, but it's just a list here, you cannot even sort this or anything. And uh, if you want to change a setting, uh, you can just edit the text here. There is no like pre-filled in or anything, you have to... <laughs> yeah. Uh, booleans uh, got a little checkbox here, so you can uh, check that here. So that's great. That's the settings editor, and these settings they are stored inside. Uh, if we go here to, we can do it like this. Config, uh, and then you know we have the XFC four XConf XFC here Thunar XML. This is um, these are the same settings that we have here. So, <laughs> and when the setting is activated and stuff, then you can actually edit this. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can edit that uh, um, XML file, <laughs> and that is basically the exact same thing as editing in this editor, since it's yeah. One thing though is that you can remove settings here with reset and then because that doesn't work when you just remove something in the XML file it doesn't really uh, remove the setting uh, from the wherever these settings actually live I have no ID. But it can be good to have this uh, XML file handy so what I have done is I have created a, a symlink to it into this Thunar directory also in config here where Thunar have its other setting files uh, for key bindings and user control actions. So this uh, is a symlink as you can see here with a little link icon or emblem on the icon which is another thing I like with a GUI file manager you can see things like that very easily what is a symlink and stuff or not that easy in a list view but whatever. Mm, and sure, you can see that in the terminal and terminal uh, file manager as well, just changing the color of, of the whatever. I, I take it back. <clears throat> Let's enable our hidden setting. Copy this command here now. So this is how you write it. Boom. It's really fast and stuff. So and now if I exit Thunar. <clears throat> and open it again. Now we can see we have the full path, not just bud. And if I open a different directory, git here, now it says the full path in the title, and that is what we wanted. And if, <laughs> if we want to, we can also open our settings editor, and now we can see that new setting here. I guess you can create one here. I have haven't really tried. Uh, misc does it no you, you you know you have to know what you're writing here and here you can see oh there are lots of uh, types it's just like uh, the register editor but almost even more uh, stupid than than that you know on windows so if you really like the feeling uh, of uh, managing settings with a regedit.exe and you have switched to linux but you miss you miss that uh, that experience then I re highly recommend you xfconf uh, settings editor here. It's perfect, perfect uh, uh, for, for, for that. But now we have the full path and that's what we need uh, to continue our Dirtac journey. Uh, so next video we, we set up like a simple thing just to, to change between icon and list view for different directories. We start there and, and then we, we take it from there. Also, I should also mention that I have here hidden settings, a little uh, bash script that will enable all, all the hidden settings for us. So, so you can just execute this. I will probably add that also here to hidden settings and maybe even somewhere else in the GitHub repo. So it's easy. You don't have to copy paste, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.